Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see some of the other useful stash commands which we will be not using regularly, but these are also some of the important which we can use it. So regularly, what will be what I will be using is so I can use this git stash, git stash save the save the stash ID, and also git stash pop. These are the common things. So to save the stash data, git stash, and to retrieve that same st stash data, git stash pop, so that it will retrieve and it will delete it from the stash list. Now here, what we'll try to do is, so now let's try to check the stash list. So if I try to check the stash list, right now we have stash at the rate zero, this is the one stash. So we can also save multiple stashes. So for example, here, let's go to git checkout master, okay. We need to resolve conflict, okay. So previously we got a conflict, right? So git status yeah we will we'll try to check here index.txt yeah we have fixed the changes now or otherwise yeah we will try to commit it so add dot okay it commit hyphen m so changes committed or something like this okay so done so we will check out the master so now sorry we will check out the feature what are the feature we are having we checked out the feature branch so now we know that in the stash list we have one stash now what i will try to do let's try to check the status nothing is there free so now i will try to let's try to see the ls so we have a feature.txt let's open the feature.txt and here i will do some changes changes in the feature file okay so now I have changed these changes. So now if I try to check the status, so we have one, one change feature.txt file has been changed. Now I want to stash these changes. So how can I stash? So just we can write git stash save so feature file modified or something like this. Whatever the name you want, you can give it. So now this is also stashed. So now if I try to check the stash, we can check it by using git stash list. So now there are two stashes feature file modified and also the modified stash so now if i want to take if if i apply for example so now if i apply git stash apply okay so not pop pop means it will automatically remove so stash apply means it will keep the stash in the stash list only but it will apply to the branch so if i apply here so now you will be able to see that modify feature dot txt file which we have changed recently so that means the la, la recent change has been applied but now i don't want these changes okay so now git reset so i will try to reset this one all git reset head hyphen hyphen hot okay so i have resetted everything so now if i try to check the status nothing is there so now in the stash list i don't want to apply the feature file i want to apply the this modified stash how can i apply is so now we can do git stash apply okay and we can give the stash command so the stash id stash id stash id is nothing but stash at the rate one so this is the stash we have seen the stash id so now if i click here see now the index.txt changes has been came so that is the changes that came from the the second second stashing file so now if i try to check the stash list okay stash list so we have applied stash at the rate one. So that means modified stash. That is the files, the changes in the index.txt file. So the stash at the rate zero has the feature file changes. So now we, so if you want to apply a particular stash means you can use git stash apply and the stash id. So this is the command. And now what we can do is, so another one what we can do is, so we can do, I will remove this one all, okay. So I have removed this one all. So now another one what I can do is, so now before applying the stash, I want to see the changes. So before applying it to the current branch, I want to see the changes. So how can I see that one? So now if, so we here we have git stash list, we have the list. So before applying this feature file modified, I want to see what are the changes are there in this stash. So we can use something like git stash show. Okay, so now if I want to give, if I, if I don't give means the recent stash will be applied. So that means feature file. So now if I click here, see that feature.txt file is the new added. 
so we are able to see that one 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 line has been added here so if you want to see the changes also what we can do is we can add hyphen p like this so if i click here see the one line has been added changes in the feature file we are able to see but i want to see the changes for the second one modified stash how can i check so here git stash show and the stash id we can give stash at the rate so where we can give stash at the rate one so if i give like this so now we will be able to see the index file changes so this is the index file changes which is present in the second stash the first stash also you can give something like stash at the rate zero so now you will be able to see the feature file so now if you want to see the changes for a particular stash you can use git stash show hyphen p will give you that will show you the changes also with the stash id okay so now that's it the these are the stashes things so now what i can do is git stash list now i want to delete one stash file okay i want to delete one stash so how can it do so we so for example if you want if you if you do git stash pop means it will apply and it will automatically delete it but if i want to if i use apply if i use apply means it will not delete it it will add it to the working area if to the current branch and it will keep it like that only for example if you add the pop means it will add it to the current branch the stash changes will be added to the current branch and uh, and the and that particular stash will be deleted automatically but uh, not deleted it will be uh, so in the pop sorry we a little bit confusion so what i can say is apply it will not delete pop it will delete and it will apply okay you need to remember that one so now what i can do is so if you want to delete a particular stash means what you can do is git stash drop and you can give the stash id so if you don't give the stash id means recent stash will be deleted if you give the stash id means stash at the rate one means automatically it will be st the stash will be deleted so if i if i check that git stash list means so now you'll be able to see that only one stash is present now if i want to clear em empty the stash list so i want to delete all the stash means so you can use git stash clear so you can clear it entirely like this so now if i try to check git stash list so now entirely everything is deleted now another last command what we can do is for example here vi feature.txt i have one file so i will change i will do some changes so made some changes here so i will i click create it here now i don't want to apply the so now if i try to git stash save feature file changes okay i have applied this one so now if i try to check git stash list means fine we are able to see now i don't want to apply the stash changes to this current branch i want the stash changes to be created in as a separate branch now what i can do here so now i can do something like clear okay git stash branch okay and we can give the branch name branch name is something like new feature so if you want a particular stash means you can use stash at the rate zero if you didn't give it means so automatically the recent stash it will be applied so git stash branch new feature like this so whatever the stash changes it is there it will be created as a separate branch so now new we have jumped back to the new feature and in this new feature you will be able to see the stash changes what are the stash changes we are having so these are all the stash commands so now let's try to see again these all commands what we have learned up to now so now we will learn the stash commands so let's try to see the stash commands so git stash what it will do stash is the modified files are create and creates a new stash whatever the modified fi files are present in that branch it will create a new stash using the git stash so if you want to give that stash a particular custom name is for identification you can use git stash save and the stash name to see all the stashes list we can use git stash list to retrieve the recent stash data into the branch means we use git stash pop you need to remember that if you re if you do after getting the stash data it, re it is removed automatically and if there is any conflicts means the git stash pop if you do the git stash pop if you get any conflicts means that stash data that stash data will not be removed okay you need to remember this one so now to apply a particular stash means you can use git stash apply and that particular stash id and here you need to remember that that uh, applied stash id will not be removed in the stash list and to delete a particular stash details what we will be using git stash drop 
the st particular stash ID. If you don't give the stash ID, means re recent stash will be deleted. And if you want to clear all the complete stash details, you can use git stash clear. And to check the changes of the stash data. So whatever the stash data, if you want to check the changes before pulling those changes to that branch, means you can use git stash show hyphen p. So to delete this one, just git stash and git clear already we have seen. And last is if you want to create a new branch with that stash data means you can use git stash branch branch name and space you can also give the stash id also optionally. So or otherwise if you don't give the stash id means recent one will be applied. So these are all the complete stash uh, commands that are regularly used. So most of the time what we will be using is we will be using the git stash pop, git stash and git stash list only we will be using most commonly. If you are dealing with the multiple stashes means you will be using git stash apply and uh, you can see the git stash changes these are all things git stash branch name and you can see all these changes okay hope you understood about this stashing thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you